Recording is in progress. The recording is in progress. Yes, thank you. Hello, everyone, and happy Mother's Day weekend, wherever you are in the world. Well, some mothers have had their Mother's Day in March. Um, different countries have different dates, but um, tomorrow, it's um, many countries are going to be celebrating Mother's Day tomorrow. Well, Mexico, I think, had theirs on the 11th. So um, we, we are representing different countries. I'm representing the US and Canada. Um, Gloria is representing Brazil. And we have Dr. Amy Lawson representing Ghana. Um, we are grateful for His Highness Andrew Williams Jr. We are hoping that um, when it's Father's Day, we'll be able to, you know, have a special package. We want as mothers to relax this weekend. It's not a working weekend. It's not a working weekend. It's for us to have, you know, heart to heart talk about how to improve lives of mothers, which, you know, ourselves and the other women around us. Um, yes, yeah, so that being said, I would like to introduce Gloria Mora Alves. Gloria Mora Alves is from Brazil and she's my Brazilian Portuguese translator. This weekend, we are going to be learning about mother tongue and the reason why it is called mother tongue. Um, Brazil has faced a lot. Um, there's two of me, I'm sorry, I'm trying to. Okay, so that's one of me. Yes, so Brazil has faced a lot, a lot, a lot of issues arising in the news. We've been following up with Brazil and, you know, things are beginning to, you know, to be improved. Um, however, we want to be part of the success story of Brazil. And that's why we have Gloria here with us. So Gloria, um, we want you to speak on your own perception of Mother's Day, what you think mothers should be doing to improve their community and how you think we can all work together to improve the lives of mothers in Brazil. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you. Uh, well, first of all, I have to say that it's a privilege to be here with you so many people interested in making a real difference in the world. It is reassuring to know that uh, despite of our own personal and family ch challenges, um, there are so many of us dedicated to human rights, justice and equity and causes around the world. So it's a pleasure for me being here. Uh, Brazil is really facing uh, times, um, challenged times, but we are um, together making here a difference, um, mainly in our community here in Brazil, Brasilia, the capital of where I do live, and we are um, making uh, a difference trying to hear families, um, yeah, getting them together and treating them as um, integrity. We are bringing them here and we are trying to be a, a good and need person to make with them a difference. Here we use a culture, homeopathy, phytotherapy, that is 
it's an interesting way to improve our health and family health. And we, we study with them all manage to make them empowered by a lot of their uh, children, all the family here, and we have been doing this for more than eight years as a um, um, social work that is in our heart and that is what we at least can do to our people. Uh, here at our community, that is a poor community, has a lot of need, and uh, we try with cooperation, international cooperation, to bring them as much support that we, we can manage. So I thank you a lot, Dr. Yawande, and Hope, and the International Human Rights Commission for all the support that we feel you are doing. Thank you. Thank you very much, Gloria. Yes, I was hoping um, Dr. Ivy Lawson would speak after you for Ghana. Um, while we are waiting for her, um, I will just speak for United States. Yes, for United States and Canada, um, people assume that uh, we don't have problems, you know, that we go through. That's not true. Yes, um, Africa and Asia may be very good in explaining their problems. You know, they, they, they are able to express their emotions, you know, and seek for help. Um, but um, people around the world assume that um, United States, you know, is is um, is a giant and does not need help. That's not true. So this Mother's Day weekend and this month of May, I'm going to be raising funds via my book launch for mothers who are homeless. Yes, they are homeless mothers with their children, you know, living in the U.S. Um, the project we are working on is um, under different charities. For example, Pray Motion provides food and uh, support for people who are homeless, while Donate Homes actually, you know, is trying to give homes permanent housing solutions to these mothers. This means that um, mothers who are unemployed, for example, to prevent them from facing homelessness. Um, they will be getting free housing. And if they are getting free housing, how are they going to pay the bills, for example? So we are also going to support them with getting jobs. So it's going to be easier for them to manage the accommodation. The long-term plan is to actually have these women have a home, a house, you know, in their name, something you can say, this is mine. A lot of organizations are coming on board to collaborate. However, um, it, it is a new project and we are open to diversification. So um, if somebody says, I don't have a house to donate, but I want to donate cash, yes. It's, it's, um, we have various ways you know, people can support. So we have um, a video already. That's why there's no need for me to share my screen. So the book launch we are having and the fundraising already comes into the GoFundMe um, and the Donate Homes page. For United States, as I said, people just assume. So we want to create that awareness that look, there are mothers among us who are homeless, but it's not, um, it's not easy for someone to go and register somewhere you know, and then it becomes public information. 
it's not like um, in Africa, for example, some women may be happy to have their pictures on the website, you know, or children drinking dirty water, they need clean water, yes. Um, we have um, data confidentiality. So if you saw somebody was homeless, maybe at a certain time of their life, they couldn't afford a house and then you take their pictures in the state of their homelessness <clears throat> excuse me it will you know become a crime in future if for example that person now has a home a better life and you post such pictures to remind the person of the you know period when they were homeless it's unfair to such a person it's going to damage the mental health of that person and even the family concerned. So data confidentiality is highly important. You cannot just take a picture in any country and post it online. Unfortunately, these things are happening and it's when the person you know, gets sued by the victim that they realize you know, it's a crime. So this Mother's Day, we want to support these people and as well respect their privacy not um you know trying to gain um social media um you know likes for content no we're going to be dividing ourselves into groups so i have taken the regions where i'm the coordinator for the ihrc i have taken us canada and mexico and um, i'm happy gloria is here for south america West Africa is being taken by Ivy Lawson, which um, she's um, having a program tomorrow for rural women uh, on Sunday in Ghana and um, other neighboring African countries. So Gloria, I saw your hands was raised. Um, can you please share with us um, your questions or concerns? No, no, it was not a question. It was just uh, here, excited here for your words. It's what we really think about it, about the maintaining your secret and the emotional health. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah. so um, I'm supposed to give a speech today um, but um, I do not want us to, you know, waste so, so much time. So we have our speeches recorded. There's a speech by um, reading of Brazilian Portuguese by myself and Gabriela, which we put in your invite. I put it in the group. So you can share that, bring more mothers onto the project. Let them, you know, learn a skill. Even if they speak in Brazilian Portuguese and can't speak in English, it's that's their language. You know, let them see the strength in that language. Um, for Ghana, we will be using US English and UK English, depending on um, the understanding, because many African Americans, for example, want to return to the continent of Africa. However, they have chosen Ghana, many of them. But if they return to Ghana, for example, they, they may not be able to fit in to the society. And that's why our theme for this weekend is mother tongue. What happens if you were born and raised by a mother who lived in America for maybe 50 years of a life and only spoke in English? And then you discover that maybe you're originally from a West African country and your mother cannot speak that language. So that means your mother tongue by ethnicity, you know, has, you know, changed. So we are going to start a school, like an adult school for mothers. The reason why we are doing this is because we have a project for every mother this month. And that project is my mother, my teacher. So it's our children who are going to be compiling this. My mother is my teacher, but what have I learned from my mother? If your mother is not able to speak your local language, for example, maybe because of where she's schooled or where she was brought up, then we are going to be teaching mothers their language so that they can pass this on to their children. It's confusing for children born in this century when they are filling a form in school and they say, what's your mother tongue? They're confused because they believe they're you know, English. 
But um, if you look at it very well, many people have migrated from different countries to English speaking countries and they have their local language. So if they are able to speak their local language, it's going to be the benefit of the mother and the community. But how do we get children to speak their mother, lang their mother tongue? The best way is to train the mothers. So mothers who are unable to speak their local languages can register. When these mothers are able to speak those languages, then they can pass it on to the children. The reason why we are doing it is we are trying to save the future. Very soon, different countries will be celebrating Children's Day. Some are even celebrating it tomorrow. So how do we ensure that when Children's Day is celebrated, we can be proud and say, oh, my child does this. I know what my child is doing. For instance, if your child spends most of the time with the school teacher and the school teacher speaks a different language to your child, the mother tongue becomes the teacher's tongue. You know, so we, we want to work on ourselves as mothers. We want to be able to say that, look, as mothers, we deserve to know and we deserve to transfer the knowledge that we have gained. Um, for Brazilian Portuguese, I'm happy that Gloria is here. Um, Dr. Ivy Lawson has left us and uh, she should be back. However, tomorrow she's organizing a program for rural women in Ghana. These women are farmers. So she's going to be working on a food bank project. The food bank project means that rural women will produce the food that urban women will eat, but how do we know what we are eating when we don't even support them, you know? So if we support one another, we'll be, act, we'll be able, you know, to produce food for the future. If we look at what's happening around us, food security is an issue. And if, if you go to a local market, the food you're buying is from a rural woman. So why don't we support those rural women? This Mother's Day, look for a community around you. Um, I'm happy that um, Ivy Lawson is doing her program tomorrow and she's going to share with us pictures and videos and you know information so we can all um, you know focus on our communities. If each person focuses on their community, I think the world will be a better place. That being said, Yes, um, she's back with us. Dr. Ivy Lawson, can you please unmute yourself and start your video and tell us about your plans for Mother's Day weekend? Hello, tomorrow we are having uh, uh, women uh, in the villages around Ho. Ho is uh, in the uh, Volta region in Ghana. And then uh, we are we are actually trying to. We've already spoken to them already. They have uh, very happy to meet with us. I will be traveling over about three hours from the Accra, and then we have some of the women. In fact, I have about three or four women who are who are coming with me to see what I've been doing outside the the Ghana. And then uh, there are there are cassava projects that we started, and then we wanted them to be part of the fertilizer because the women are the one that we we met and we've spoken to them, and they are very excited because they don't have even the the tools that they use to even make cassava, gari doing the gari it's a, it's so bad the way they don't have a, uh, they don't have the type of uh, machine that you can use so that we can export the gari for them we have to put their own uh, stone on their on the on the cassava put it on it and they've been suffering they are so when i saw their situation i said no i have to do this and then i met uh, yeah, yeah, my 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 boss, Doctor Yewanadi, and then I spoke to her, and she said, "Ivy, let's do it. Let's do it." And I'm here. I thank you so much. And this is what we are all praying so that we will do that for 
everybody. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Yes, on behalf of International Human Rights Commission and the World Humanitarian Organization for Peace and Equity, I want to say congratulations on your endorsement. I'm happy that for places where I can get to physically, I can collaborate. That's the power of collaboration and we can make the world a better place. Tomorrow is going to be an eventful day because um, various um, volunteers, consultants, companies have different plans, but we don't just want it to be, you know, Mother's Day, Christmas Day, Children's Day. No, we want a, you know, permanent plan. So imagine I will be raising funds and awareness for homeless mothers and children in the United States. And people are like, I, I don't, I want to think I have have about um, 50 people on my list for beneficiaries because people that you don't even believe are homeless are coming out to say, Dr. Yo, and they can you just uh, squeeze me on your list? And I'm like, but you are, you are an American, you know, but it's not about being an American or Canadian or British. It's not about that. The system is killing the, you know, everything is just upside down, post COVID. Uh, okay, now it, the WHO says it's no more a pandemic, but we are suffering from the impact you know, long-term plans now have to be in place. Otherwise, this is just going to be a global mess. So when we started, I've been a board member for almost two months now. And I must say, I've learned a lot, a lot. I've met, for example, there are 12 of us as board members, and I'm the only Black person there. So... For me, it's it's a you know a great opportunity to say even if there are 50 people and I'm the only black person, I can stand up for black people living in America and say, okay, if I'm not even raising money for anybody and I focus on black people, for example, I have somebody else who is from India, or you know, let's say she says I'm standing up for Asian people. And then somebody says, oh, I'm from South America, I'm from North America, you know, I'm from Africa. So if we, you know, use our strengths and our background to say, okay, even if nobody supports me, I know black people will support me, for example. So it's not about being black now, it's about being a woman, you know? So uh, people are like, oh, you, you can't understand, you have a doctorate degree. And I'm like, look, I'm a widow. So having a doctorate degree does not say, oh, uh, one widow, because a widow is a doctorate degree holder. No, as a widow, you can become homeless at any time. If you are from Africa, you understand. So you, you can imagine somebody who has a huge duplex, lives with a husband, can drive any car at any time they want, and then the husband just goes. Next thing, people you thought were family might just come and start saying, you see that red car is not for your husband, it's mine. I lent him some money to buy it and he's not finished. And you do see, you just be wondering what's going on. And then, you know, um, people cannot keep you in their house because you're a widow. You know, they need to make money from their rent. So before you know it, the person is homeless and they have children. Africa things might be different because some family may support, but if the if the husband is gone, they will say, okay, we'll support you. This is what we are going to do. We are going to take the children off you. And I'm like, if you want to support a widow, support her. Why would you take her children off her and, and say, oh, you just, you know, you can go elsewhere, go and start a family. I mean, it's not um, it's not done, you know, in a sane society. But unfortunately, it happens a lot. So uh, even if I say, okay, I'm raising houses for widows, there are widows everywhere, black, white, Asian, you know, there are widows everywhere. So that gave me, you know, a larger net. So I got people easily, you know, to say, look, 
I'm not a widow, but what I'm going through is worse than what a widow is going through. So it, it, it made me, you know, a bit popular in recent times because people just keep trying to, you know, can I be part of this? I really need this house. Because people who are working are struggling to pay their rent. You know, how much more people who don't have a job? So we, we are trying our best. United States and Canada will focus on homeless women. South America and Africa, Asia will focus on rural women. And then everybody will do a joint proje project for health and social care, meaning that for every woman who is a farmer that we're trying to help, we will be able you know, to provide health care. If they are healthy, they are wealthy. You know, um, if somebody has just lost a husband, for example, we need to work on their mental health. They may have a job, but they, they, if their mental health is not okay, they can lose it. So a lot of things we can do. This weekend, we are going to be supporting ourselves. We've all spoken, however, as mothers, it would be good for us to hear from a child. She's the Teenage STEM ambassador representing teenagers. Um, she's, I want her to talk and then Ololade Ogunlowo is here. So Ms. Abidobo Yekeno, on behalf of teenagers, you want to say anything to you? Mother's hair. We are waiting for you to start your video and audio. Uh, wish us happy Mother's Day and any other thing you want to say. As a child, what do you think mothers can do to improve your lives? Because you teenagers, you know, you understand each other. Over to you, Miss Abido Baoyekeno. Um, hello everyone. Um, good morning. Um, yeah, um, from everything you said, I can see that the organization really wants to support women and a lot of mothers um need support um financially, especially maybe single mothers. Um and yeah, I just think it's amazing that we're just celebrating Mother's Day and um, as mothers, I think all of you are doing amazing. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. You're welcome. We hope to see you again tomorrow. Although tomorrow you'll be having two things to do. So for those who don't know, Abidoba is my daughter and she's the Teenage STEM ambassador. So on behalf of all mothers, Abidoba, we want to say thank you. Let us give her a clap. Can we unmute ourselves and give our teenage STEM ambassador a clap? Yeah, so she has spoken. Congratulations. She's the female STEM ambassador. We have, um, yes, Dr. Ivy Lawson is putting a clap. We have another teenage STEM ambassador. He's based in the UK. Abidoba is based in the US. They are both working on the air ambulance. So very soon we are going to have a plane, you know, that can land on rural areas. So the, the plane can move from Accra in the morning, take care of a patient. And in the evening is in Nigeria, take care of another patient. And the next morning is in America, you know, like a global flying hospital. So Abidoba is studying aerospace engineering. Um, the other one, the other teenage STEM ambassador, he's Spanish speaking. So he has written a poem for mothers in Spanish. So tomorrow we are going to be speaking in our various languages and for mothers who cannot speak their language, they will be registering in the language school. For South America, Gloria Morales is in charge. And for North America, I'm in charge. For European, we have Cristino. And for West Africa, we have Dr. Amy Lawson. Unfortunately, Dr. Amy Lawson has um, recommended somebody for Akangana language. But for one reason or the other, they did not um, meet up. So Dr. Amy Lawson, we are making you the sponsor of the Akangana language, meaning that um, you provide a translator, a public health translator, or a language translator who is a teacher as well to teach our mothers their local language in Ghana. 
Uh, many mothers want to return to Africa, especially Ghana, but they would like to learn the language. These are African Americans. It's going to be difficult if they can't learn. For those that want to return to Nigeria, they don't even want to learn the Nigerian languages. They want to learn Pidgin English. I've had people, you know, royalty want to learn Pidgin English. So we try to put them with tutors. So it's going to be a busy month for us trying to find where we need um, to support. Um, Ololade is here. She's both from WOP and IHRC. So I'll let her discuss her plans um, for Mother's Day. Over to you, Ololade. Well, good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Can we see your yes. face if it's possible? Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma can you see me, ma'am? Yes, we can. I'm so, okay, good evening, ma'am. So, evening. my name is all right day. So, well, tomorrow I'm actually, I just, I saw the link and I just, let me register for you, let me join. So, well, I just, I'm not celebrating any uh, mothers tomorrow. I'm actually going to support teenagers program whereby I will be just talking to them about how to respect our moms, how to, it's actually for teenagers, but in a church, they actually invited me to speak to the teenagers about how to relate with their parents and also to talk about depression. So that is how I want to celebrate my mother's tomorrow, ma'am. Okay, so it's good you are in this meeting because um, we can make you our youth STEM ambassador because um, Abidoba is here. She's currently in California. Oh, Abidoba. Um, I'll give you a lot of this number. So anything that has to do with teenagers has to pass through her because uh, she is a teenager. So she can tell you what they want, you know, so you don't waste your time. And they're like, no, 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 we don't like that. So we like to make teenagers in charge of what they do and the youth in charge of what they do. So teenagers and youth are working together. And um, for, you. for you to have an understanding of what um, you should be teaching them, um, we have a video from um, our youth and teens in IHRC who are also part of WOP. So we'll just share that with you. you would you like to chip oh, thank in you, the teenagers program? Hello, Abidoba. Would you like to chip in anything for a teenager's program? Um, if you would like to, you can leave a message in the chat. Um, yes, yeah, so we don't want to take too much time. Tomorrow is actually Mother's Day. You know, the funny thing about Mother's Day is that um, on Children's Day, the children are expecting that their mom will take them out to uh, any eatery or something. They can even choose and say, oh, I want to go to this place, I want to go to that place. When it's Father's Day, the mothers are there. You know, but when it's Mother's Day, um, it, it's rare you know, for the men to say, okay, I'm going to cook this dish for mother. No, 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 no. It's the mother herself who is still going to find herself in the market, if I'm right. If I'm right, give me a you know show of emotion. So the mother is still the one going to the market to cook and buy food. And, and they ask her what's happening. And she says it's Mother's Day. Yeah, so what does Mother's Day mean? You know, you should actually sit and relax. So tomorrow, no matter our profession, we want to be mothers. If you understand and if you agree with what I'm saying, tomorrow we just want to sit back and relax. I don't want to be Dr. A one day. I want Abidoba to take me out if possible, you know, send me a gift if possible. So those are things like today I've been out. I think Dr. Lawson knew when I said I was in transit. I've been out to get my own Mother's Day gift because I alone know what I want. So it's been like that for a long time. When you have a child and your child is only two months and uh, your child doesn't know what to buy, doesn't even know Mother's Day, what is Mother's Day? So you end up going to do the Mother's Day yourself. We want these things to change. So all day tomorrow, I'm happy with the initiative you've brought up that um, we want to be celebrated as mothers. We don't want uh, Dr. Yowande doing all the speech. You know, I don't want to give a speech. I want the teenagers, you know, to give their speech. So um, I have um, the Spanish one. 
and I have something from Brazilian Portuguese from um, Gabriela. So we are putting all these things together and uh, we are hoping. Lade, what time is your program tomorrow? Okay, we are starting um, from one o'clock, ma'am. Okay, so we are meeting here again tomorrow at five, meaning that um, you'll be able to have, um, you know, a summary of what you did. You know, like, okay, ma'am. Yes, so we it's want to be able to have a report and say, yes, this Mother's Day, we are celebrating ourselves. Why? Because, you know, we were able to achieve this, we were able to achieve that, you know, but when we've not been able to achieve anything, it's difficult to sit down and say we are celebrating. So I want to thank everybody here. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Yes, so from my humble self, Dr. Yewande Okunara Oyekeno, CEO of Wendinora Medical Research Institute. I want to say happy Mother's Day, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. The reason why we have to meet tomorrow is tomorrow is actually Mother's Day in over 10 countries. You know, I can think of at the top of my head, Ghana, you know, Brazil represented here, USA and Canada represented here you know, Italy represented and, you know, so many other countries. So we want to celebrate it. Mexico will be represented as well. That's why um, Edward has sent his Mother's Day poem in Spanish. Um, Abidoba is the Teenage Sem ambassador and um, she's US English and UK English. So I would be speaking in Yoruba, Abidoba would be speaking in English, Edward Spanish, uh, Dr. Ivy Lawson will speak her Ghanaian language. Dr. Uh, Gloria Morales Alves will speak Brazilian Portuguese. Olalade, what language are you going to be speaking to appreciate mothers tomorrow? We'll be speaking English, ma'am. <laughs> You'll be speaking English. That's the yeah. So this weekend, our theme is mother tongue. So Alala, they chip that into your program tomorrow. Okay. If you want to have a beautiful program, mm -hmm. um, you need to teach the children their mother tongue. So they need to be learning the languages of their mother. I mean, that's the best Mother's Day you can give your mom to say Happy Mother's Day in her language, no matter how complex mm -hmm. it is. You know, so here we have representatives from Ghana, Brazil, US, UK. Canada, you know, in this meeting. So it's not about the number of people, you know, but the ability to reach out, you know, to the needy. Um, that being said, I want everybody to give a closing remark and I will start with Brazil. Gloria Morales, can we see your face and hear your voice and give us your closing remarks for today for, for people in Brazil, mothers in Brazil? and South America. Can we see your face, Gloria? I hear the, the video. Yes, video. É um prazer estar aqui com todos vocês. Um prazer enorme do Brasil. Okay. Um, over to you, Ghana, Dr. Ivy Loss in Ghana. Hello, everybody. We thank God that uh, this pro project has started with the widows. We are meeting to them. In fact, we have about 30 to 50 women uh, with the villages, and we are very happy that uh, we will share something with them, and then uh, we'll start thinking of how we can change their lives so that they have a better life from today, from tomorrow. And then uh, they are, we, are, we are saying that happy, happy Mother's Day to them all in, 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 in all of us. Thank you, thank you. Yes. So United States and Canada, I will be representing by giving my special, special, special song from Dr. Yoandi 
So um, I only sing, you know, on social events because uh, people are used to me giving lectures, lectures, lectures. Yes, it's a book launch, but if you look at the WhatsApp group, you see a lot of links and links and links, meaning that go and listen to the video, decide the book you want, whether Brazilian, Portuguese, English, Spanish, French, you know, 15 languages. So today I will be doing the special song, Ave Maria to celebrate all the mothers in the world. And I am still a neuroscientist, I am not a musician. <laughs> so to every mother in the world celebrating Mother's Day this week, I want to say, Ave Maria, Lady, no mother, proudly children who call upon the Ave Santissima, Ave Purusima, sinless and beautiful star of the sea. Matter marvelous, or a pro nobis pray for the children who call upon the Ave Santi Sima Ave Purusima. Sing less and beautiful star of the sea. Ave Maria, O maiden, O mother, proudly the children who call upon thee. Ave Santissima, Ave Purusima, sinless and beautiful star of the sea, martyr of marvelous, ora pro nobis, pray for the children who call upon the Ave Santissima, Ave Sinless and beautiful star of the sea. Gracias. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Gracias. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, gracias. Beautiful. Spanish. So, thank you very much. Tomorrow, we are going to hear different people from different countries speaking their mother tongue. So, I think I've done well for Latin America region. Gloria, have I done well? Yes, she can smile. Yes, yeah, so that's good. So I'm the representative. <laughs> Thank you. I'm the representative for UK, US, Canada, Mexico, and Republic of Ireland. And yes, I might be Nigerian, but you see the reason why, you know, I'm attached to these foreign countries. So thank you everybody and enjoy your preparation for Mother's Day, I'm sure. People have got, you know, chicken and fish and everything out there want to cook. So I'll give you time to go cook and we'll meet same time tomorrow. 
and we're going to have a wonderful, wonderful time. As you can see, my daughter is here to support me. So we want it to be Mother's Day. So let your children, if they can come, bring, you know, bring them along if you know they are, they are happy to join, especially if they are teenagers, you know, so just be happy, you know, you don't have to show them on video, but, you know, let them surround you. They are your flowers for tomorrow. I mean, a bit of a knows me, you know. I'm happy she's here. So a bit about you don't need to give me a gift. So just make sure you come tomorrow and represent the teenagers, which is what you do. <laughs> so Alolade, thank you very much. Send me a reminder to give you um, a video of um, a bit about addressing teenagers so you know, you know how to wrap up. All right, ma'am. Thank you today. very much, ma'am. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. So, Everybody, see you tomorrow and au revoir. Bye. Odabo. Odabo. <laughs> Bye, everyone.